What's happening my fellow geeks and geekettes? Welcome to a brand new episode of Cosplay Chris and today I have a very big update for my Batfleck cosplay. In this box here, I have a very specially designed muscle suit all the way from the United States, courtesy of Flex Design Costumes. Flex Design make custom made muscle suits tailored to your measurements. I first found out about these guys on the tested YouTube channel. Adam Savage actually bought one of these muscle suits and it got me thinking, like I said in my previous video, I am never gonna get that naturally big in terms of a bat fleck look. And also you've gotta keep in mind that Ben Affleck wore a muscle suit under that bat suit and part of the suit had been glued down to certain areas of the muscle understructure. So what I'm be doing today is unboxing it, reviewing it, I'm gonna try it on, show you guys how it looks, how it interacts, how it moves. Now this is the lean muscle suit. Originally I had the standard muscle suit on order. One of my buddies, you actually know him as Big Hero Vince, who did those amazing pirate Batman Batarangs, he suggested I go a size down to the lean suit because he said if you do have a bit of size on you already, it'll make you look too bulky if you have the standard size muscle suit. So I quickly emailed the good people at Flex Design. They were more than happy to change my order because it was the same price, it was no big deal, and they hadn't even started on my muscle suit. Now you guys gotta forgive me if it's a little noisy today. I thought I'd film out in the kitchen because I'm unboxing this big, giant muscle suit and I got the birds going off in the birds room because it's that time of the afternoon where they just kinda, you know, sing the songs of their people. Oh, now they're quiet. Oh, <laughs> that's nice. Now, when I do try the suit on, I will try it on with the boots, the utility belt, and then the body suit. So, with following videos to come, I will be showing you guys how I'm gonna be gluing the body suit down to the actual muscle suit. Hopefully this doesn't look too goofy on me. Now, I did get this in black. You can choose from an array of color fabrics. People mostly go for the flesh colored one, but I wanted to get the black muscle suit. So, we got ourselves some instructions. Fitting instructions, when getting into the suit, make sure the legs and waist are in place before fitting your arms through. Gently work your arms through the suit into place and do not use the arms to pull the suit up as it places added stress onto the seams. On behalf of the design team at Flex Design Costumes, we thank you for your purchase of a muscle suit for your costuming needs. We're committed to providing you with not only high quality products, but also excellent customer service, and they have done both. They've nailed it. They were so helpful, they were quick to respond with their emails in terms of changing my order. So I'm really grateful for the amazing customer service, and I can't wait to get this bad boy out. So I think it's time we get it out. Holy shit, this thing's got some weight to it. Okay. Hopefully you guys can see that all right. Oh wow, look at that. Jesus, look at the work that's been put into that. Wow, look at that. That's beautiful. Oh. So like I said, when you order one of these bad boys, whether it be from a lean muscle suit right up to a Hulk size muscle suit, you can even do custom made muscle suits if the Hulk size suit is not big enough for you. So you give them all your measurements. So theoretically, with all your correct measurements, these muscle suits will not look goofy or cheesy. They should look anatomically correct. <sighs> it smells like a buffet at a barbecue rib <laughs> joint. <laughs> Okie dokie, so far, so fucking amazing. This is so cool, guys. Um, obviously, I haven't zipped it all the way back because I don't have any <laughs> help at the moment. I'm no one's home, but look at this. This is beautiful. The flexibility is just absolutely amazing in this. My only gripe at the moment is the boots. Um, because the calves are so big on these guys, I can't zip the boots up all the way, which isn't a big deal because all I can do is just chop out a part of the foam calf there and then they'll zip right up with no problem. But this is beautiful. Like This just gives you the added advantage. So once the body suit has been placed over it and we're gonna glue it in strategic places, my buddy Ben, who just lives down the road, he makes bat suit pieces. He makes an amazing Dawn of Justice cow. He's gonna help me glue the body suit down. So I will be doing a video on that. I'm not going to put the body suit over this today because like I said, I'm home alone. It's gonna be even trickier to do that, but just to give you guys an idea of just the flexibility, and it's just so damn flexible. It is a little bit hot, but also you gotta take into consideration that it's nearly summer here, and the rumpus room up here is quite hot. We don't have any air conditioning, so it does get a little bit steamy in here, but this would be a perfect 
winter cosplay. So I'm gonna be cosplaying the shit out of Batfleck this coming winter. I love the way my belt sits on this, it's perfect. <laughs> it is getting pretty steamy in this. So guys, overall, I am beyond happy with Flex Design's muscle suit. This is just gonna be the icing on the cake for my final regular Batfleck cosplay. I really think this will give me the upper advantage and it's just, it's comfortable to wear given it is quite hot, but you've got to take into consideration that these are foam muscles. So of course there is going to be a bit of heat trapped in there regardless. So with that, I'm giving Flex Design's Lean Muscle Suit four and a half geeks out of five. Just fucking love this thing. Screw it, you guys have been so good and so patient. I'm going to show off a lot of new shit that I was wanting to do a new video on. But I'm just going to show you now. So I did manage to get the bodysuit over the muscle suit. Both the muscle suit and the bodysuit aren't zipped up properly, so that's why the traps kind of hang forward. This cape, this cape is brand new. This was made by my buddy, Cody Smith, and he has engineered the cape so it is permanently folded back. And Cody has done an amazing job. Now you can find Cody on Facebook. I believe he is still making capes. This cowl, this cowl is the version two from the ever so talented John Ninko. I do have John's version one, which unfortunately I ripped when I was preparing to do a Justice League video. John was cool enough to send me his brand new version two, which has a more of an accurate looking neck and texture. So John, I can't thank you enough for this. But guys, I just wanted to give you all a treat and just show you guys majority of the pieces put together. Oh, I also have Christopher Robbins uh, molded chest Batfleck emblem, which will be glued down to the suit once everything else is in place. So there you have it guys, that is the latest update for the regular Batfleck Batsuit cosplay. I hope you guys are well, hope you guys are happy, be merry, be silly, and until next time geeks, please always remember, fucking sweaty, hot cosplayers do it best.